Hello, my name is Paul Setner. I'm an Applications Engineer with Advanced Solutions Incorporated. And today I want to start taking a look at some of the What's New content in the 2013 Autodesk family of products. And today we'll take a look at AutoCAD Electrical and one of its newest capabilities. And that's our ability to start to help organize our projects uh, in a little more concise and efficient manner. So let's go over to AutoCAD Electrical. Let's start to take a look at exactly how we can incorporate this into our project manager to help facilitate this, this capability. So I just have a sample drawing up. And again, you can look at my project manager, just have nine drawings as part of the sample project. And again, we're familiar with our project manager. Again, really just uh, a means to help start to organize and see all the files and drawings that are part of my, my current active project. And this is the way it's always been in the past. So now within 2013, we now have the ability to help start organize our projects, which again, can be any number of files, maybe only uh, a handful up to, you know, 20, 30, 40, maybe upwards into a couple hundred drawings, who knows? So if there's a better way to start to organize these drawings, um, this new folder structure is gonna start to help you know, ease that process. So it's just very similar to a Windows Explorer environment. I can right click on my top level project and just add a subfolder. Now once we add this subfolder, again, just like a, a Windows Explorer, I can just start to help document and name these folders as you know, whatever I wanna call them. Create one more. So I just want to break these up into maybe schematics in my panel drawings. So once I actually have my folders created, it's as simple as a drag and drop process to start to help organize my files as part of this project. So just drag and drop onto my appropriate folder. I can control select, shift select, and again just drag and drop into the appropriate folder that I might need. Now so ease of efficiency, ease of productivity in regards to just organization amongst our project. But to take that a few steps further, some of the other project-wide utilities that we might typically run as part of our project also start to take some shape as part of our subfolder options. So I can start to right click on these subfolders and you'll start to notice just some, some context menu options here to either run a title block update, report, or publish out this particular subfolder uh, to the web dwif or dwif file or excuse me web dwif or zip file excuse me so for example if i want to make a, a drawing list report as i choose this new report you can see start to see that automatically any one of the drawings that's part of the schematic folder in this example are automatically pre-selected for use now at the same note if we come over to our project tab as part of our ribbon and again just some of the other project-wide utilities I'll start to see, you know, it's not a direct right-click option, but once I start to actually process one of these capabilities and options, our typical list of what drawings would you like to process, which I can start to individually select, do all, but over here on the right-hand side, I additionally now have this by subfolder option. So as I select a particular folder, it's going to go ahead and isolate and add to my list to process the folders contained within those subfolders. So a nice little handy tool to help make this process a little bit more efficient. Now on the flip side, if we need to start to delete subfolders, make some edits, maybe reorganize what we already have in place in regards to our folder structure, it's a pretty big, uh, straightforward process. I can just right click, remove that drawing, or excuse me, remove the folder. But if I currently have drawings and files currently a part of that subfolder, those will additionally be removed. So just a little forewarning, make sure that if you're gonna remove that, that subfolder, to either take out the contents, just with another drag and drop process, out of that subfolder, and now I can remove that subfolder individually. Now on the flip side, there's another more global option that we can use a little bit quicker, but it is gonna eliminate all subfolders as part of this project. And that is on my top level project, if I, if I perform a right click, I have the ability to just flatten out my entire structure. So this prevents that reverse drag and drop and getting all of my files out of a particular subfolder, but this will eliminate all subfolders that I might have as part of this project. So it eliminates my need to have to drag and drop out of each subfolder, but assumes I wanna get rid of any and all subfolders I have as part of this project. 
It's a nice way to clean that up and get rid of any of those subfolders that I might have. So a good way to, again, start to help organize, especially with a larger number of files as part of our projects. But also, again, we can start to see some of the added benefits of running some of those project-wide utilities, but doing so perhaps only on a particular subfolder that we might want. That concludes this portion of our What's New content within AutoCAD Electrical. Again, if you would like any additional information or perhaps even a quote sent out your way for some pricing, feel free to contact us on the, on the web or feel free to give us a call. And again, we'll be happy to help. Again, Paul Sattner from Advanced Solutions. I appreciate your time. Thank you.